Hi gang! Welcome to another edition of Tammy Has an Idea, but doesn't know if it's going to work. <laughs> but I'm going to try it! I got my coffee and my Supernatural mug. I'm going to have some of that. So, after the experiment with the raw Icelandic fleece and felting, I had a further idea. Hang with me here. What I have are these baskets that I got at a discount store. And I use them for washing fleece. So I had an idea. What if I pull the locks through from this side, from the inside, so that the butt of the locks is through all these little holes? And then just felt that. Right? Right? That would leave all the locks hanging and they wouldn't be felted at all. I don't know. It might work. I mean, in my head, it's like, wow, that makes perfect sense. So I grabbed some raw fleece that I still have. This is a BFL. And it's very raw but it's very pretty and it's very veggie mattered so it's a good one to start with to experiment with so i have a few tools i have crochet hooks of varying sizes to try to pull the ends of those locks through and then i have this lovely little hold on i need one more hand then i have this lovely little um yeah, darning needle. There we go. That's the word, darning needle. I got these at Walmart, and they have like a fishing line end on them, so I could thread the end of the lock through there and push it through the hole. We're going to try a few of them, see what happens. Because you know me, I get an idea, and let's try it. So I'm going to set you up so you can watch while I give this a go and I have no idea what's going to happen. This could be a wild ride. Let's get to it. All right. I got a few locks here. I'm just going to split them into individual little bunches. These are very, very dirty locks. I love it. Lots of lanolin in there. So the felting would really help take that lanolin out all the soap we use. Pardon my sniffy nose. It's winter in Canada. We always get sniffy noses. All right, so we have a few here. Let's make our first attempt. I'm going to grab one of my tulip crochet hooks. These are my absolute favorite crochet hooks ever. I can crochet for hours with no hand fatigue with these hooks well worth the money all right well, let's give this a go so we're going to grab a lock we're going to go in from underneath and pull it through just like that and we're just going to leave enough sticking out to felt Let's grab another lock. And we'll go through, hook it with our crochet hook, pull it through. Oh my goodness, this is going way better than I had expected. So this is my theory, right? You have this part here that you can felt, and then the locks hang loose inside. All right, so, so far, this part is working. It will go through the little holes and it does hold the lock in place. I'm going to do probably three rows. I'm gonna leave this piece, this edge open. I'm gonna fill in this area here and then we're gonna go upstairs and grab our hand sander and give it a shot at felting. I'll put you on time-lapse while I do this 
and uh, I'll talk to you when we've got this part ready and we're ready to get on to the next part. I'm excited. All right, so I got all the locks fed through. I just did a little section because it does take a while to hook all those locks in, but you can see they're hanging. So now we're going to wet everything. Soap it up. And then we're going to grab our palm sander and see what happens. Could be interesting, could be a complete fail. I have no idea, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the sander and I'll put you on time lapse and we'll do it so you don't have to listen to the palm sander. All right, so I've been felting with the palm sander and it's sort of working, but some places aren't felting very well. So what I'm going to do is just take some merino and I'm just going to pop that over it. Go in the two directions and just kind of make like a base for it all to cling to, hopefully. Or this isn't merino, this is BFL too. What am I talking about? I know my pieces, really. But it seems to be working. So I'm kind of happy about that. All right, there we go. Just need a little pad. Gonna get it wet. Hold these bits in. Gonna add a little more soap. Ooh, okay, gonna add a lot more soap. <laughs> Get it started a little bit. All right. Dry my hands and I'm gonna bust out the sander again and we'll give her some more. All right, we have felting. Now I probably should felt it a little longer, but we all know I'm not terribly big on the patience. So I'm gonna to try to pull those locks through now. Ah, sip of coffee for uh, strength. through I'd say I got enough soap in there <laughs> let's try pulling from this end perfect 
Ooh, this side's coming up much easier. I did end up going every second space instead of every space because it was getting way too thick. So. Okay, so we lost a few in the process. <laughs> but... Yeah, I should have felt it a little longer. But we have somewhat proof of concept. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited that makes me. So, what have we learned? First thing we're going to do when we go to start is add some roving in there to help make a better felted base for it. Because you can see where here it didn't actually stick to the base. But we have completely unfelted locks felted at the base. I'm so excited. Look at this. <sighs> All right. I'm going to wash it up and put it to dry. And I uh, will see what kind of carnage we have left behind. And we will do a wrap up video or wrap up in a little bit. Okay, guys. See you in a bit. All right. So I couldn't wait. I had to try again. This time I used some washed and dyed BFL locks. I took this little plastic tray I had and it had cracks in it. So I drilled some holes because working with the other one, it was so deep, it was hard to pull them through. So I flicked the ends of all the locks then pulled them through the holes in the tray and now, hold on, tip you down so you can see. So it's definitely much fuzzier this time. And there's no lanolin in the locks. So I'm hoping that will help it felt better. This is just all the debris I took off of the uh, flicker. And I'm just going to kind of work it all in amongst all those locks and we're gonna try felting it and see if this time it goes a little better. I'm kind of hoping that it will. Uh, last time wasn't a complete fail, it just wasn't a complete success either. So well, let me grab my sander and we'll give it a go. Just getting it started here. A little bit of wiggle, 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 wiggle. I just, I get the feeling like with a little bit of tweaking, this is going to work. Something fell in the sink and gave me a heart attack. Grab the sander and give this a go. Well, this seems to have gone a bit better. I 
think I still need to add some more roving in there to get it to felt up good. But, yeah, see it tore there. But it is a little better than the last one. And I think I might still be putting too many locks too close together. Maybe I should spread them out a little bit. But that's take number two. I'm going to wash it up, put it out to dry, and we'll see how this one turns out. Stay tuned for the wrap-up, guys. I'll be back. All right, so it's been a day to let everything dry. And here are the results. So here is the first one I did. This was the extra felt I tried to add in. It just peeled right off. It made a very nice piece of felt, though. <clears throat> so here's the locks. They are kind of felted on the back. They can be pulled apart with a little effort, though. Um, they didn't felt really great, but we do have some felting happening. These are the bits and pieces that didn't felt in, but they need some lovely locks. <laughs> so they're nice and clean, which is good. Um, I can definitely, like, I could take this now and... Um, needle felt these bits together to make one piece. Because they're so long though, I probably should have pulled more of the base through the grid to felt. So not a complete fail. There is some proof of concept in there. It's just a matter of refining the process. So take two where I flick the ends of the locks, put them through my little, that thump you just heard was latte bobo, body slamming bobo to the floor the wrestling so this was take two where i flicked out the ends of the locks pulled them through my homemade version of the grid so this one went a little bit better it is definitely felted pretty good like that's quite firm but it is not felted like there's spots where there's holes. Now I suspect that's because what I was working with, um, the holes were varying size, like varying distances from each other because I was trying to see how close together they had to be. But it is definitely felted in. Like that's not going anywhere. So this refinement was actually really good. And you can see that all the locks are perfectly loose like the long dangly bits are not felted in at all so it's just the back that's felted so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to find um some more plastic to drill my holes in and i think i'm going to put them what's that about a quarter inch half inch apart i'll put my holes quarter inch half inch apart flick the ends to pull it through the holes and then felt it. And I think that method is going to work really well to make a living fleece blanket. The other thing I might do is actually put some roving in between the ends of the locks to try to give it even more to felt to and felt for longer because I was so impatient to see the results. I was just like, that's enough, let's keep going. So that's, you know, me, impatient. But I think that I'm definitely on to something with this process. And I think I'm starting to refine it down and get it to a point where it's going to work. Because you see this side here is actually quite well felted. And I'm very excited. This has been a fun little experiment and I'm eager to take it to the next level. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Tammy Has an Idea. And if you like this, do the stuff down below because I do stuff like this all the time. Thanks, guys.